Hey, hey, hey. It's that time of week again. Time to come in and focus our energy for the week. Yes, it's Sunday. Come on in and join me. Yes, let's pull our energy in. Let's ground. Let's choose a few cards to talk about our week. And let's really begin to ground and focus. Come on in and join me. This is Terri Ann Hyman with the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook and Natural Forces Studio. Come on in and join me. I put some cards out earlier. People were picking one, two, or three. Join me and let's talk about where our energy is right now. How did you survive that full moon? I know for me it was pretty intense. Yes, I did a lot of releasing. That's what we're going to talk about today, releasing and being in the flow of energy. Or did you get stuck? Did you get stuck in that energy of the emotions? Is that where you're finding yourself now? Let me know below. Come on in. I'm going to share this. I don't see anybody yet, so come on in. Here we go. And join us as we talk about being in that flow of energy, finding a way to embrace your creative energy. So come on in. Share it with others. Hey, Millie, I see you. Yay. Share it with others. Maybe you know somebody that's a little stuck in this energy from the full moon. I know it can be that way. Whoops. I know it can be intense. So let me know where it is for you. Are you able to let it go? Are you moving through those emotions? Are you able to be in the flow? Yes, it was pretty intense. I had a few nights of not sleeping, and then I did a little Adi Shakti on the full moon. All right, that was pretty intense, yes. And that was actually ha, huh, what opened up the dam and what really helped me to release. What about you? What do you do during the full moon or after the full moon to get your energy back into the flow of it? Let me know. Comment below. What do you do? Practice yoga? Meditate? Run? What is it you do? Very interesting to find out. I know it takes a lot, and sometimes the energy of the full moon can really, really be a lot of energy for a lot of people. What is it for you? Do you find that you're caught in that emotional energy? Are you able to move through it? Are you able to take the light in? Which is it for you? Because really, when we talk about our creative energy, which we're going to actually be talking about tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show, being in that flow of energy is so much more than just being creative with art and music and things like that. We really want to be able to be into that flow. So if you would, do me a favor, Millie, hit the share button. All right. Karen, come on in. I see you. Kim, come on in. Join me and let me know you're here. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart. Give me a share, all of those things, and we're going to come in and pull our energies together. I'm actually going to do some readings tonight, so if you're on Facebook, um, if you're on your iPhone or something and want to come in, I can invite you in. Just give me a comment below. That would be really great. All right, so I shared it a little bit here and there. Maybe you'll do the same for me. I know sometimes it's hard when we come around to the week of the full moon. We've got all this energy moving forward, and then we get affected by it. We have to release it, and that's exactly what this week is all about. It's releasing out that energy, letting go. You know, last week we talked about moving through the energy. Very good, Millie. Yay. Last week we talked about not getting caught in the drama, right? We started the hashtag no drama. How was that for you this week? Did you notice yourself getting caught in the drama, or did that help you to kind of stay above it? When we get caught in the drama, that really messes with our energy. That creates resistance in our own energy fields. And then we can't really flow and follow that creative energy. We're in the fall, right? We just started in second week of October here. Maybe the first week, wherever we are. And energy of the fall is all about starting to harvest our work, starting to pull in, right? And this is why we need to release. We've been out there. Summer is very big, very out there. So we need to release that excess energy so we can start to pull our spirit in and start to understand more about what we're doing and what our year has been. The fall is fun. I know I love it. I love the apples and the pumpkins. I pumpkin spice everything. I just love it. I think it's kind of those Ayurvedic spices too, right? But they help to inspire my spirit and help me to pull in and help me to understand even more where I am in the year. How about for you? Have you noticed that? 
Millie says you're moving through the energy, Millie, and that's really good because we need to do that, right? We need to keep moving and keep going, not get caught in the drama, not get caught up in all of that other stuff that goes on, right? It's really important. Now, this week, we're going to be talking about that creative flow and that creative energy. Tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show, I have Gigi Dubai. She's the news director at WBHM. Very excited to have her on. She's going to be talking about creativity in a whole nother way. All right. It's not just about being in the art room or making drawings. All right. I kind of share my story a little bit too about I never could draw. I loved art, but I couldn't draw. And I really learned a big lesson, right? In the story that I tell about an art teacher that really helped me to open up and really realize it's that flow of energy. So that's what we're going to be talking about, which is really perfect for right now. Where are you in that flow of energy? Are you able to move beyond being stuck? Are you able to open up? Really important to keep that energy flowing so that you can really have a creative career, creative life, creativity in so many ways. Hashtag creativity. All right, I know that, you know, one other thought, I know that creativity isn't so much taught so much these days in college. It's kind of one of those lost skills from kindergarten, right? So we need to embrace it over and over. We really do. So this week, we're going to kind of start out a little bit tomorrow, still intense. I know for us here down in the south, we've been under this weather and rain and all of that kind of energy. And we're going to feel like we need to catch up a little bit tomorrow. So we may feel a little bit more of that intensity tomorrow. Then as we move to the middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to come back in a little bit, revisit a little bit at some of that emotional energy, the moons and cancer. So we're going to find some of that energy there. But the best way to do it is to slow down is to release the energy is to nurture very important nurturing ourselves right now i know for me september was really big and really fast and i had to take this weekend even the week to catch up to get energy treatments for myself and to replenish so that's what we're seeing right now is what's going on so we're going to start fast at the beginning of the week by the time wednesday and thursday comes around we're going to start to need that nurturing for ourselves and then by the time friday comes around we're going to find some of that creative energy just flowing us right into the weekend. We'll see a little bit of shift in that. So that's where we're going to focus our energy. So being productive on Monday, even Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, start to bring in some of that creative energy for you. And then by Friday, time to just really zone out into the weekends. All right, we have a few comments here. Alejandra says she needs to remember to slow down and nurture. Yes, definitely. Hashtag nurture. Let's do that one this week. We get out of the drama and we can really see what it is that we need to use for our own self. What tools we really need to use for our own self. Hey, Cindy, how are you? All right, so that's kind of the way the flow of the energy is going to be. Intense at the beginning, kind of more mellow and nurturing towards the middle of the week. And then we're just going to flow right into the weekend coming up. But the key here is that hashtag release. Hey, Brett, release the excess energy. Really let it go. Don't hang on to it. No emotion is ever final. We had this discussion in the Empowered Spirit Circle. Come join us over there, right? It's a Facebook group. Come join us. Find me in the Empowered Spirit Circle. We were just talking about that emotional energy, being responsible for our emotional energy, knowing our boundaries, but having that freedom to express. Really important. Definitely important. All right. So let's just take a nice deep inhale going to light a little sage as we open up and look at the energy of the cards. If anybody wants to come on, just let me know and I'll invite you on and we'll try and do a reading online. I haven't done that before. Otherwise, we're going to draw the cards. So just take a nice deep inhale. All right, Kim, I'm going to invite you on in a minute. All right, I'm going to read through here, hang out, and I will invite you in. All right. And exhale out and just bring the energy of your week here. Think of what you're doing, what's going on. So the questions that we asked was to how to help us remain in the flow. We could choose card one, card two, and card three. Again, I'm working with the wild unknown. I'm in love with these cards and the messages they've been bringing us. All right, so if you drew card number one, three of pentacles. I love this card. This card is really about... It's really about building our work, all right? Pentacles are our work, our money, right? We see that mountain up there. So there's a pretty big project you've been working on, perhaps, or just even building up. And now it's time to kind of join in. Threes are about teams, all right? So take a step back. Maybe you need to get some help in looking at what you're doing. Step back. Witness your work right now. Don't keep it all in your own little head, right? That's going to get you stuck. Open up. 
reach out to your community, your friends, other people that you're involved with in this work, and let that energy flow for you so that you can really find the way to bring it forward. All right? Yay. Very relatable. Very good. Yay. I love this because, you know, one, we have the idea. Two is duality. Three, we've gotten a little bit somewhere with the project we're on. And many times it can feel like a big old mountain in front of us. But this is the time to take a step back, kind of like what we were talking about, harvesting our work. Take a step back. Look at it. What has been working? That's what you start to harvest. And this card allows you to do that. Take a step back. Get into asking for some help. Three is about community and group. So get some help on whatever it is you're doing because it is a really great thing going on. All right. If you drew card number two, this is the Daughter of Swords. All right. I love this card. This is a very passionate energy. This is a very fiery wanting to get out there, wanting to do stuff. It's a free spirit energy, all right? So if you pick two, the free spirit in you is allowing you to stay in that flow, all right? All right, be careful too, though. That daughter of one sometimes can get a little bit much. It can be a little bit hard to control. She can get a little out of hand, all right? So make sure you don't go too far out and make sure you pull that energy in. Again, we're in the fall. We want to pull it in. We want to release the energy so that we can stay in the flow of what we're doing, all right. She's also a very visionary energy, the daughter of wands. So what are you visioning? Where can you use that ability to go out there into the big auric field that you have, that infinite potential, and pull that energy in for you? All right. This is also what this card is about as well. Now, if you drew number three, if you picked number three, this is the six of cups. I love this card. This is a very joyous card. This is a card that reminds us of our roots, right? See that? See all the colorful roots and the tree that grew and the very balanced energy? This is a card to remind us to really tap into that energy of our childhood, to really use the memories for the greater good. Don't get caught in the drama. Don't get caught in the struggles and the victim energy. No. Use those memories of your childhood, of things that really inspired you to take it further. And that's going to help the flow of energy too. And we can go back to the memories of things that were really good and things that were really working. I know this time of year for me, oh, I have so much energy that inspires me. People I met at this time of year still stands out. So it holds a big energy. So that's the way to tune in to what it is you're doing now. I love this because it shows like an equal roots growth, all right? Where are you in that energy? So if you drew that card, really refer back to the joyous times in your life and find a way that you can use it for your higher good. All right, now let's pull it all together. Our anchor card, this is a beautiful way to pull this all together. Our anchor card is the Two of Cups. So this is for all of us. Now the Two of Cups is all about love. Look at that. Beautifully balanced energy of love. It really is. Beautifully balanced. It just talks about opening up and flies out of my hands. Talking about using that as the influence. This is our anchor card. So the thing that I can offer from this card is open the heart. Open the heart. Look for the romance with yourself and also all the connections around us. This is what we really need right now is to be connected. So that heart energy is all about that. And maybe, just maybe... There's a new romance out there for you. Maybe it's a renewal or maybe it's somebody brand new, right? Okay, I'll take that. Actually, a little romance doesn't hurt anybody, right? So look for that energy. All right, so if that's our anchor card, then the way that we can open up to these other ways of finding that romance and being in the love, right, is taking that energy connecting with community on the projects that you're working on staying in the heart energy right when we serve from the heart so much more opens up right heck yes all right be that visionary from the heart put the energy out of the heart and open up to that love that is all around us to keep in the flow and return to the love of your childhood and the memories that were good for you return to those things don't dwell on what wasn't don't dwell on the victim part what did work where was that creative force for you that can grow now in your life? All right. And then we have that beautiful two of cups. That's what our anchor card is for all of us to open up to that heart energy. All right. That is so important for all of us right now as we move through and stay in the flow. It's joyous. It's love. It's visionary. It's passion. 
Where can you find those? I challenge you this week. I challenge you this week to find that energy for you and open up. All right. I'm going to see if I can find you guys to come on. And I'm willing to um, find anybody. Let's see. That didn't work. I'm going to see if I can invite. But I don't see how to do it. All right, it's not working. All right, Kim, but if you want me to draw a card, post below. I will draw a card for you. I'm not seeing how to invite this Facebook Live. One of these days, I'll learn it. All right, Kim, I'm going to draw a card for you, and you can post your comments. Or Karen. Karen McClure. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Karen, I'm going to draw a card for you. Tell me when to stop shuffling. I'll intuit that information. Here we go. Karen, this one is for you. All right. It is a beautiful nine of cups. So there is a lot going on for you in your life right now. There's a lot of energy around you, a lot of heart energy, which relates exactly back to that. And there is still a little more coming. I love this because it actually brings in that two of cups that we were just talking about. So be sure to not take for granted the love that you have around you and open your heart because there's a little bit more coming in. Nines are about almost completions. It's not quite done. All right, so there is more coming in for you. Stay focused. All right, Cheryl, you'll take that card. You want a card too? I thought you meant you'll take this one. I love this card because it reminds us to open up even more. There's a greater amount of love coming in. All right, Cheryl. Cheryl, the father of wands, all right? So this takes the energy of the daughter of wands a little bit further. This is telling you to even be more direct in the work that you're doing, in the passions. Look at that lightning coming in. Look at that snake rising. This has lots of transformational energy. So what are you working on right now? Where can you really stand in your power to bring this forward? This is passions, desires, even spirituality and purpose. So whatever it is right now, take a stronger stand. It's like the father of the house. Be strong in that energy and open up. Open up to those passions and desires. Love it. All right, Brett, this one's for you. All right, family history, Cheryl. All right. All right, so Brett, you got the three of cups. We're drawing all these cups. I love it. Some hard energy coming forward, folks. We need it. Yay, I love it. All right, Brett, this is about celebrating. This is about getting together with friends, really friends that are rare friends. All right, friends that you can really get with and really appreciate your life. Fall is great for that. So go out and celebrate something in your life. All right, I know you've been posting a little bit about the heavy energy of the moon. Do a dance. Do a moon dance. Get your girlfriends together and go out and celebrate all the love that you have for people, for life, and for all that you're doing. All right. Yay. All right, Millie. All right, let's choose a card for Millie. All right, I got a little hearts up on that one. All right, Millie, the mother of cups. All right, very interesting. We're getting all of these cups. I love it. So this is a very nurturing energy. The mother is like that nurturing energy of all. So make sure you're nurturing all those around you as well as yourself. All right, so we talked about it earlier. Wednesday and Thursday is going to be a very big energy for doing this. So this is the perfect card to bring that forward. All right, I love it. Swans are loyal. Be loyal to yourself. Open up to the energy around you. Look for that nurturing energy to come forward as we open up all of us to the heart energy. All right. Did a little hurricane dance yesterday. Well, good, because it wasn't as bad as they predicted, at least not in my area. All right, Cindy, I think you said you wanted a card. Let's see. All right, I'm going to pick one for Cindy. How to stay in the flow. All right, here we go. Cindy, you got the Six of Swords. All right, so the Six of Swords is about letting something go. It's about leaving it behind. It's also about that you know, that project that we're doing. Six are about communities, but the sword is also too sometimes about that middle energy. So it's time to kind of let this go, leave it alone so the rest can rise up. You see the rainbow at the top? So opening up to that energy, let that mental, it's about the mental chatter, all right? Let it go. It's time to like just 
do away with it all right you've completed some of that energy if not you're gonna um you're gonna draw in more so we really want to kind of let it go and let the let the lessons that we learn from some of this all right let that chatter go let the mental plane go and open up so you can rise above it and find that higher vibration that's exactly what this is about so tuning into that love energy is going to help you move through this definitely definitely very good card to get all right i got some hearts on that i've got some cards thelma i'm gonna pick a card for you and karen i'll pick a card for you all right the four of pentacles i love this this is a card that kind of tells us to you know find the balance and the harmony of what we're doing and this is in the pentacle plane so this is about your work all right this is about your work so finding that balance you've done some good work all right, get ready though, because generally after the four comes five. So make sure that you find that balance in what you're doing. Appreciate it, offer gratitude for it. Don't work too hard, find the complete balance. That's what fours are about. And the pentacles is that connection of all the areas of your life so that you can move forward and be strong in the work that you're doing. I love this card. It's got all those interconnected. See the lines and the colors. All right, excellent. All right, I think that was for Thelma. Heidi wants a card and Karen. All right, so Karen and then Heidi, so I don't get confused. Karen and then Heidi. All right, Karen, the fool. We drew this last week. I love this. Okay, so there's somewhere in your life, Karen, that you need to find the innocence of what you're doing. Don't be afraid. Take a chance. Can you fly? That's the little chicken asking the question, the little chick on the branch. Yes, you can. Take the chance, all right? Don't let the energy scare you. Take that opportunity. Find that innocence of who you are. Trust that you have what you need to make this shift, this change, all right? We never know. Sometimes we make a change, and then we get to where? Is it a big ch change? Is it a big step? And sometimes it might be little, but if we don't take the chance, we won't know. So that's what this card is all about, opening up to those possibilities. Karen says, eek. No, I think it's a good opportunity. Don't be afraid of it. Take the chance that you need, all right? All right, so let's see. Where was I? Heidi, and then Aliana. I think it's Aliana, is how you say it. All right, Heidi, here we go. Let's draw a card. The Five of Pentacles. All right, so this card reminds us to take some time for healing. All right, there's a little sadness that comes up with this. We've gone through some changes, all right? So sometimes something doesn't work out exactly as we want it to do, but that's okay because that's where we offer the gratitude and that's where we learn some of those lessons. So this is kind of telling you to take the time to understand what is going on, to drop out of uh, the struggle and the stress, right? Get back into that flow and find the ability to learn that lesson underneath. Reach out. Don't keep yourself isolated. Make sure that you reach out to others as well to help you understand what it is that you're needing right now. All right? Definitely it's a time to do a little self-healing as we move through this week. You'll be able to take that time. The moon will be in Cancer Wednesday, Thursday, and that's exactly what that is. All right. I think I have one more here to draw before we do our meditation and get too far into it. Whoops, lost my picture. There we go. All right, Ale Ale is it, it's not Alexandra, but Aleandra. Okay, here we go. All right. So I drew the Ten of Wands here for you. So the Ten of Wands is about completion. So there's something that it's time to put to rest, all right? And generally the wands is our passions, our desires, all right? So maybe something has come to an end and maybe you're kind of struggling with letting it go. All right, perfect time, release, let go. Know that more is coming. As soon as we do this, the one comes back around and new energy comes forward for you, all right? All right, I think I got most everybody. Thank you so much. I just love reading the cards. They're fun. We take the energy. We look towards the week as ways to open up. Now, before we close out, let's just take a moment and open up to the meditation to center our energy for the week. Just a couple of more minutes. I know I'm running over here. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale out. And just send all of the breath down deep into the earth. All the way down. And as you inhale, pull it all the way up through the body. Up through the crown. Up into the heavens. And exhale. Breathe it all the way back down deep into the earth. Open up that vertical channel. Open up that Shishinda channel. Inhaling. And exhaling. 
Send it down deep into the earth as we center our energy for the week. Inhaling, coming into the heart. Exhaling, dropping the ego, opening up to all that love energy. So many cups today, all that heart energy. And on your next inhale, now open the breath out in front of you. And as you exhale, pull it back all the way behind. And again, inhale, opening it up. And exhale, pulling it all the way back behind. Inhale, coming back into the heart. Exhale, dropping the ego right into the heart, opening the heart with love. Exhaling, sending the breath down deep into the earth. Feel the feet grounded on the floor. Feel yourself centering, bringing the spiritual body over the physical, shoulders over shoulders, hips over hips, coming into the very center, the very core right now, pulling it all in. As we open up to a brand new week, as we open up to being in the flow of energy, letting go of the drama, and able to move forward into this fall season. Take a nice deep inhale. And to exhale down, coming back. Whoa, coming back. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, bring in the energy back as we open up to this week. So tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show, I have Gigi Dubon from WBHM talking all about her take on creativity, kind of different than what we've been talking. So join us there. Also, if you're not in the Empowered Spirit Circle, come on over, join us. And if I didn't get you a card, if you ask for reading a card and I didn't pick it, please do post below and I'll be glad to pick one. I'll be around for another few minutes after we close out. Thank you guys so much for joining. Keep posting in the group. Keep letting me know what's going on. Let's do this together, right? Let's raise the vibration for all humanity. May peace prevail on earth. Stay empowered. Stay true to your spirit. To your spirit. Namaste.